In this tutorial, we will show you how to perform PCB routing in Altium Designer. After setting up the design rules, importing files, and component placement, the actual routing starts. Firstly, let's see how the differential routing is done. As you can see, this is a differential pair. To route this differential pair, go to Route, and select Interactive Differential Pair Routing. The alternative method is to use the routing shortcut. Right-click and select Interactive Pair Differential Routing. Select any one pad and start routing. As the value of this trace is already defined in the rules, the same value will be considered. For this particular trace, select a curve corner style. This trace is a 90 ohm impedance trace. Once you are done, hit the right click to come out of differential routing. If you want to change anything, for instance, here we have taken a hit as 45 degrees. In that case, just press the shortcut and select Interactive Differential Pair Routing. Then choose the pad, drag the trace, and reroute it. This will remove the previous copper and make a new trace. Next, we will see how to route simple traces. Here, choose a trace that needs to be routed. For routing, the keyboard shortcut is Control W. Or else go to Route and select Interactive Routing. Take a trace and select corner type as 45 degrees. Alternatively, you can revise this with the keyboard by pressing Shift and Space. The style can also be changed. Now, routing for this trace has been completed. Let's route the second trace. The values for this specific trace are already defined in the design rule settings. Hence, the routing will take place accordingly. You can see how the trace is connected from one point to the other. You can see here the resistors are placed in such a way that there will be a space to accommodate the trace. Therefore, it is crucial to think from a routing perspective while placing components. From here, take out another trace and route it. You can also move the traces for better space optimization. Next, we will route these two traces. Right-click and save the file. Now, we will see how the copper pour is done. As you can see here, we already have a power layer having a 12-volt net. There are a few connections on the top layer as well. Hence, we will have to put copper plane on the top layer. Go to Place, select Polygon Pour. Click on the Tab button and select the layer and net name accordingly. Provide a correct net name to get the net connected with the particular pins. Here, the net name is M12V. You should also select these differential parameters, removing dead copper and optimal void rotation. Now you can start pouring the copper. You can turn the power layer on if you want to know where the plane is in the power layer. Otherwise, turn it off. Select the particular portion and hit right click. Here on the top, copper is poured properly, but the edges lack copper. To edit the edges, select the copper plane and right-click on it. Choose Polygon Actions and move to Modify Polygon Border. Choose the order where you want to modify the border. Once done, press the right-click. Next, we will see how the vias are placed. To insert vias, go to Place and select Via. Press the tab on the keyboard and it will open the properties of VIA. You can set the diameter, hole size, and tolerances. Here the chosen diameter is 22 mils, hole size is 8 mils, and tolerances are set to 3 mils to 8 mils. Now you have to assign the specific net. For this, open Net Information and select the net. Here we are choosing M12V. To set the grid, just press G on the keyboard. For this demo, we are selecting a 25 mils grid. Now place the vias in the particular net.
The vias are inserted, but one via is connected to the ground which is not desirable. Select the via, hit right click, go to Net Actions, and then click on Assign Net. Select the adjacent net for establishing the appropriate connection. This ensures all the vias are placed on the same net. If you notice any via wrongly aligned in the grid, then you can put them in an orderly manner by moving them manually. Just select the vias and place them in an appropriate grid. After finishing all routing settings, save this file. This is how routing is performed on Altium Designer. Check out Sierra Circuit's Transmission Line Reflection Calculator. It graphically depicts the ringing of a signal at the source and load of a transmission line. Thank you.